Hello again uh, YouTube uh, users, I'm, I'm back with another tutorial. Uh, this is a carry on from the last tutorial. Um, in the last tutorial I showed you how to set console and uh, exec privilege passwords as well as uh, configure a PC with an IP address and fast ethernet and serial um, interfaces with IP addresses and activate them uh, as well as a clock rate. Um, in this tutorial, uh, I'm going to try to do a little less because I found that uh, it's kind of hard to fit in a, a lot of information in one tutorial and I've only got 10 minutes to do it. So um, this uh, tutorial, I'm going to focus on how to set an RP route without uh, RIP or uh, OSPF or any of those uh, sort of protocols. Um, let's get on it. So um, grab a PC, uh, just grab a generic PC, put it in. Uh, select the um, crossover cable. Fos Oops. Select fast Ethernet. Uh, let's just do zero one, I think. Okay, so we have to uh, put this uh, PC on a different subnet. So let's do one seven two dot one six eight dot one dot two five four. And we'll do the same uh, subnet, a uh, sub RP, sorry, subnet, classful, classful subnetting, and we'll set the default as 172.168.1.1. Okay, so we've got that done. Now let's uh, activate this uh, interface. So we got conf t um, interface uh, if a zero one. Oops, sorry, if a oh, one zero RP address, which is 172.168.1.1, which we set as the default gateway on the PC. And we have to say no shutdown to bring the link up. Okay, as you can see, state changed to up. Okay, so to verify, we have green green if we pinged from this PC we would hit this interface um, because I'm on a time schedule I'm not gonna do that you can do that if you'd like um, I'm gonna set up an RP route so PC1 can communicate with PC2 and vice versa PC2 can communicate with PC1 okay so conf t you go RP route okay we are on router 1 and we want to say RP route destination address which is 172.168.1.0 so 172.168.1.0 put in a subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and then we want to do the exit interface which is serial 20 okay 20 so serial oh, s e 20 Okay, and we do the same on this router. We do RP route uh, 172, I mean, 192.168.1.0, 255.255.255.0, and the exit interface, which is SE20, same exit, inter well, not the same interface as this, but the, the same serial interface connected on here. Okay, and um, this is the 192 network over there. So let's uh, hit enter. And um, we want to verify now that uh, the PCs can ping. So let's do that. Oops. So let's see here. So this PC is 172.168.1.254. If there are any mistakes, which I hope there are, they will be, we can troubleshoot them together. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Oh, request timed out, and then it came up. The reason it timed out was because uh, one packet, one packet was well, one packet was dropped in transaction, and and that's uh, that's normal on the first ping when you first establish. Um, any kind of RP routing. So um, now let's verify. Um, if we go into um, 
the, the router privilege exec mode and you go show IP route, this command allows you to see which routes are on the routing table. So C stands for directly connected. So serial 2.0, which is over here, is directly connected and it's on the 10.1.1.0 network. Okay. Um, let's do this one control C, uh, show IP routes. Same deal. This network, this uh, 10.1.1.0. 1.1.0 subnet network is on serial 2.0 okay and it's directly connected as well as the 172 network and it's showing classful and it's it's also showing uh, that uh, this is the subnet the network that is directly connected I'm sorry I'm stuttering here okay and then we've got a static route to 1922 192.168.1.0 which is over here and we're on this route over here so 192.168.1.0 is over here so let me just do this quickly so 192.168.1.0 is over here and 172.168.1.0 is over here and the uh, 10.1.1.0 network is over here and this is dot one dot two two fifty four dot one dot one two fifty four i'm hoping i'm making sense but i'm trying to keep this video very short and if you have any questions just uh let me know in the message box below okay so router router one is over here router two is over here and see the directly connected uh, routes. Okay, I hope this helped. Um, the next tutorial I'm going to do show you how to do uh, set up Telnet. Um, and uh, thank you once again for watching. Okay.